Hi guys, so today is, is the full moon, the first full moon of the year 2024 and the moon, the first moon of January and if you have been following me, you will know that we don't joke with this particular full moon prayer because it does wonders. If you understand how to pray with the moon, believe you me, your life must change for good because it's another opportunity or privilege you have talking to God using that avenue. All right. So because this is the new month and this is the new first moon of this year. So I will encourage you guys to all to make use of this opportunity. Make sure you go to the moon and pray. You can go to the moon and pray. You can make use of full moon prayer in anything that you want. Right. But do this assignment. Why doing this? And I'm telling you by the grace of God. You will get a result now number one item you'll be needing in doing this assignment is pepper pepper and pen right white pepper and pen what do you do you are going to write all the things you want to let go you want to let go of poverty for example you want to let go of miscarriage you want to let go of disappointment you want to let go of failures you want to let go of bad energies anything that you don't want to experience this year anything you don't want to happen to you this year you and your household write it on a plain sheet of paper or any paper of your choice write it and after writing it you are going to do this assignment today which is 25th of january 2024 now once you're done doing that immediately you see the moon right you are going to take that your paper and go out to the moon if you are living in a place you can stay you can go outside and face the moon directly barefooted please do that but let's assume you are living in a place whereby you cannot go outside face the moon because of some reasons you can stay in your room in your bath in your back corner wherever you know that you can view the moon you can have eye contact with the moon you can stay there as well and make this prayer now you are going to open down your intentions those things that you've written that you don't want to experience this year that you don't want to come to manifestation this year that you don't want to pass through that stress this year you are going to start praying using that method like right begin to pray speak to god about it said in this moon i am standing to end this i am standing to put a stop to this that in this year i will not experience this all these things in this year i will not come you know you begin to say all those things pray it out then after praying it get yourself a burner item either matches or a lighter stand exactly at that particular moment you are facing the moon and put it ablaze born into arches right now once you don't once you don't doing that particular one on the moon where you are facing the moon now you come back and get a glass cup of water like this use a transparent glass cup if you don't have glass cup and you have something else that is transparent use it it must not be cup you can use bowl as long as it's transparent and it's brokeable preferably. But if you don't have any, please use any cup that you have in your house. Get water into inside the cup. Now, add salt to it. You are going to add three tablespoons of salt to it. If you are using sea salt, you add three pieces of sea salt inside the water. Now, once you do that, you get me money. You get money. Any of your cup, any of your, any type of money, like, any denomination, right? Be it 1,500, but get money that can be enough for you to buy something. Get any money that you know you can comfortably use it to buy something. If I will advise, if you have the highest currency of your country, use it. Maybe you are living in the US, you use $100. You, use it, you are living in the UK, you use £100. It's still your money. You are not giving it to anybody. So don't be afraid that after doing it, I'm going to give out £100. I'm going to give out $100. I'm going to give out $1,000. No, it's the same your money. You only have an income. You want to connect to the energy. You are using it as a point of contact. That is all. Now, what do you do after you've added three tablespoons of salt? Or three pieces of salt inside the water. Now, like I said, if you prayed on the moon, let's assume you've been able to go outside and stand outside and face the moon. 
you are going to get this water and place it like this facing the moon look at what i'm doing so you put the water you put the money like this and place it on top of the water like this you see what i'm doing that, that you will fill it with water then you put it on the moon like this leave it there until the next day which is on the 26th so you are going to leave it there okay but if you are living in a place again that you cannot put it outside now you can keep it in your house in your room where you are sleeping that night we believe that as long as today is concerned it's even inside your house inside your house <clears throat> has the moon energy so by the grace of god it's actually going to work for you now when you keep it you go back to sleep when you wake up in the morning first thing in the morning or anytime in the morning get cinnamon powder sorry i don't bring cinnamon here you get cinnamon powder. What do you do with the cinnamon powder? You use the cinnamon powder and rub it on your palms and feel the hot sensation. If you are following me, I've already taught us the benefits of cinnamon, the spiritual benefits of cinnamon. Cinnamon is all about attraction, good attraction, money attraction, favor and blessing. Yes, you might ask how is this thing possible? Now, if you ask me why it's possible, I will ask you why do you always apply cream on your body? yes why not leave your body the way it is so everything has a benefit all you need is to understand how to use it there is something that used to you know maintain everything that is how spirituality is all about everything that god created it has a its own spiritual benefit so cinnamon is one of them so you are going to apply that cinnamon in your palm and begin to rub your palm as he said this word said i call money to come to me that from today, this my hands will not lack. This my hands will not go dry. Whenever that I need money, money will come. This year I shall count in millions. Nothing shall die in my hands. Any business I do this year shall prosper. Anything that I do with this my hand this year shall come out positively. You begin to call money. Call blessings, not only money. Bless your life. Say that this your hands will bring prosperity to you. Say that this your hands will bring food to your table. Say that this your hands that will bring blessing to you. That as you rub this thing in your hand, that wherever that you are, whatever that you step on, that blessing will follow you. Good things will follow you. Then after you're done making that prayer, go and use that water you drop overnight under the moon or inside your house. Use the water and wash out that cinnamon. Wash it out without soap and without sponge. And after washing it, don't clean your body. Don't clean your hands. Allow the water to dry in your hands. That is just it. Then you can have your normal bath and whatever after this. Now, for that money that you place under the, the, the money that you use, that particular, like the money that you put the glass cup water on, you are going to get the money. Please, you are going to keep this money in your bag or your pocket. If you're a woman, you can put it in your handbag or anywhere that you put your money. If you're a man, you can put it in your pocket. It does not mean that you have to carry it every time, no. But if you have a business that you do, that you can as well fold it, make sure you mark it, put it in your withdrawal, or whenever they are keeping money, leave it there. Don't touch it until the next full moon. I'm going to as well come to tell you when it's February full moon. So then what do you use this money to do? You're going to use this money to buy food. You are going to use it to buy anything green, anything that grows, you know, like rice, beans, melon, uh, millet, and every other ones, right? If you use big, big or highest currency, like this 1,000 naira here in Nigeria, you can only use it to buy food, even for yourself. So you can buy food and eat it. You can buy rice and cook it in your house. But I will advise you to use it and buy rice or buy beans, something that swallowed. Use it and cook it so that every member of your family can eat it. So if you use like higher currents like hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, uh, hundred dollar, hundred pounds, you can use it and store food in your house, right? And see how you'll be blessed. Don't joke with this assignment; it works very well. If you have been following me, I've showed you a lot of benefit about full moon, and I've given you a recipe you should do. But this time around, I'm going to be giving you a certain recipe that benefit or that goes with the element or that go with the aura of each of the moon. Okay, so do this. This is the first full moon. Make sure you don't joke with it. Make sure you don't mix it. And God will bless you. Whatever that you prayed for, God will answer you. All right. Thank you for watching. Share this video. Share it for more. Like it. And if you have any questions, please kindly ask in the comment section. 
Now, I know many of you will be like, promise I don't have cinnamon. If you don't have cinnamon, skip that part. Go ahead and do every other part. Then if you don't have cinnamon, what you will do is that in the morning, just use that water to wash your hand. That is all. Okay? And allow the water to dry in your body. Congratulations to you in advance. And don't forget to come back here to share your testimony when it starts happening. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.